There is only one perfect solution that will clue the trick our team. Hello there everyone, I'm Crazy Caleb, and today we're taking a look at two modules, keypad combinations and keypad lock. So I'm going to go over the simpler one first because keypad combination is rather quite simpler. So this is keypad combination and this is keypad lock. So what we need to do for keypad combinations is we're going to have four circular buttons here. And what we need to do is there has three, the, each, op, each button has three options essentially, to cycle through. You're going to submit the button. Once all of these are highlighted, uh, once all of the buttons that you want are presentable in reading order. And it has to be one of these valid passwords. So there are many different combinations that we can work with here. However, each of them will be pretty easy to deduct. So let's actually take a look. So we have, for our first one, we have a 7, a 1, and a 4. For our second option, we have 1, 8, and 9. For our third one, we have a 1, 5, and a 2. And for our fourth one, we have a 7, 5, and a 3. So now, that's all our expert needs to give to us. And now, it's essentially just going to be finding our valid password in here. So, this is going to be based off of, in reading order, how you would submit it. So it would be, this would be our first digit, this would be our second, this would be our third, and that would be our fourth, and so on and so forth. So now it's all just going to come down to finding a valid password. And usually what I'd like to do first is I'd like to essentially um, use Control F and search up the first digit. So in this case, let's search up 7, and highlight all of them which have a first digit of 7. And we'll use these values we get to determine if each of these are, if any of these are going to be present. So, seven, nine, six, five. We have a seven. We have a nine. We don't have a six, so that one's invalid. Seven, nine, four, two. We have a seven. We have a nine. We, have, we don't have a four, so no. Uh, seven, one, six, four. Seven, one. We don't have a six. Seven. 8, 3, 2, we don't have a 3 there, or a 2 on the fourth one. Uh, 7, 0, 7, 0, nope, because we don't have a 0 in the third in the second position. A 7, 2, 6, 5, we don't have a 2 in the second position. We don't have a 0 in the second position. Uh, 7, 9, 5, 8, we have a 7, we have a 9, we have a 5, we don't have an 8, unfortunately. 7, 8, 9, 2, we don't have a 7, we have a 7, we have... An eight, we have, we don't have a nine, so that's not it. Uh, there's only one seven in the uh, first and second, so that's obviously not going to work. Uh, there's no two in the second position. Seven nine seven six. There's no seven in the third, and there's no there's no zero in the second. So seven is not going to be our first option. We've already marked that off. Next, let's find all the ones in the first position. And actually, I just found this one right here. Um, taking a look right here, we have a one, we have a nine, we have a five, and we have a three. So in this case, this is actually going to be our valid submission. So now, what do we have to do? So we have to set each of them up in, in the reading order. And this is what we'll submit. We have a one, nine, five, and three, and we'll press this button. Congrats. Let's do the same same one for this, and then we'll move on to keypad lock, because this is the rather simple one, I will say. For first position, for first position we have a two, three, and a six. We have a one, a nine, and a six in our second. Four, eight, and nine. And a three, four, and a zero. So taking a look here, 
we have, um, let's start with two in this case, two. Let's find all of our values that begin with a two. And it really does just come down to really finding it. It's the hardest, that's really the hardest part is just finding it in this huge list of tables here. So uh, two, seven, there's no seven in the second one. Two, nine, eight, four. Oh, look at that. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. We have a two, we have a nine, we have an eight, we have a four, and that's gonna be our submission. And just like that, is a solid module. Now, keypad lock is a little bit more interesting. I will say that. So first things first is we need to find the correct table. So in order to get the correct table, we need to start off um, to get our correct order of presses. We need to find get a number. And to get this number, we start off with the number of batteries. Let's get that. We have five batteries in this case. So we would modulo the number by six and add one. So let's delete this. So we have five. We add one gives us a six. We're going to find the character in the serial number in the position you just worked out. In this case, our sixth character is an eight. If the character is a letter, turn it into alphanumeric position. And now we're going to repeat that step two more times to get the answer you needed. Finally, you're going to modulo, well that's a typo, uh, modulo the number by 10 to get the table needed. So, we're going to go through this two more times. We're going to modulo the number by 6 and add 1. In this case, six, uh, 8 minus 6 is a 2. We're going to add 1, giving us a 3. The character relevant to 3 is indeed a 3, so that stays the same. And now that we've gone through that again, we're going to go through it one more time. Modulo the number by 3. Uh, by six and add one, creating a four. Find the character relevant in that position, in this case, a delta. Delta happens to be a four, so we're going to turn that into a South American position. That gives us a four. After repeating that step, we're going to modulo this number by 10 if it did happen to be a larger character in the alphabet. And this is the table we get. So this is going to correspond to four. So now, taking a look here. Each table is made up of numbers 0 to 9 that are randomly arranged in the table. We need to pay attention to the faded numbers we have here. In this case, we have a 4, 5, and a 7, and a 9 faded. We take the four faded numbers and find their corresponding numbers in the needed table. And it gives you an example here. Let's actually take a look at this example. So, we have a 2, Using the two faded numbers, we have four, one, three, and seven. So a four, one, um, three, and a seven. And these are corresponding to their positions if it was numbered regularly. So corresponding the numbers in the table are, um, in table two, are a one, six, a four, and a three in this order, as it says here. So reordering the one, three, four, six gives the final code a four, seven, three, and one. So essentially what we're going to be doing is finding the positions of each of the four faded numbers. We're going to order these results based off of um, lowest to highest. And we're going to press the faded buttons in that order. So a 4 corresponds to a 0, a 5 corresponds to a 3, a 7 corresponds to a 4, and a 9 corresponds to an 8. That's actually perfect because that orders, that actually orders it from lowest to highest already. So that will give us our code because we're going to press the numbers from lowest to highest corresponding to the same. So in this case, our code is going to be a 4, 5, 7, and a 9. And if you and if you didn't, if you did happen to enter in the wrong number, not it, I'm afraid. it will automatically give you a strike. So entering in those digits were correct. So 
look through this process again. However, this is going to be the same result, so we're actually going to use table 4. But this is rather quite simple, just don't get it mixed up. You just modulate the number by 6. I'm not actually going to just make an example right now, so let's do a Bravo X-Ray 4, a November Echo 1. And there are three batteries in this case, doesn't matter about the holders. So we'll modulate the, we'll modulate the number by 6 and add 1. In this case, that'll give us a 4, since we start with the number of batteries. Find the character in the relevant position. In this case, 4 is a November. The alphanumeric position of 14 is a, is a alphanumeric position of November is a 14. And then let's do this two more times. Let's modulate this by 6. In this case, that'll become a 2. Add 1 is a 3. The third position corresponds to 4. That's in a number, stays the same. Modulo by 6. Nope. Add 1, it becomes a 5. And the fifth character is an echo. Echo also happens to be a 5, so that would be our corresponding table. However, it is not, since we are still looking at the same bomb and on table 4. So in this case, our faded numbers are a 2, 6, 8, and 9. So let's find these on here, a 2, 6, 8, 9. So these are going to correspond to 5, 2, 7, and 8. And now we're going to order these numbers from least to greatest. That'll become a 2, 5, 7, and 8. So instead of entering in 2, 6, 8, 9, since we only swap these two, it'll actually become a a uh, six two eight nine because each of them correspond with their numbers. Because six corresponds with two, two corresponds with five, eight corresponds with seven, and nine corresponds with eight. So this will be our actual code. So it will be a six two an eight and a nine. And just like that is the solved module. Thank you guys for watching. As always, stay crazy, stay cool, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.